Oh, my delicate disposition. What a delightful surprise to see you, Jessica, at work. How may I assist you in soothing or assault? Fred, I need your help. I'm working too hard and I need someone to put out my fire. Can you put out my fire? Whoa. Oh, Jessica, I emphasize the weight upon your delicate shoulders. Alas, I am a fragile soul myself. Unable to extinguish the raging flames of your corporate torment, but fret not. But together we can find solace in the gentle breeze of conversation. Oh, thank you. That's exactly what I just needed. This firefighter left coffee at my house, but I have some here so we can talk together and find solace in conversation. How kind of you to offer, Jessica. A coffee, a warm elixir to soothe weary souls. I'm more than happy to partake in this conversation, as long as it remains a peaceful respite from the fires of the corporate world. Don't you worry. The metaphorical fires of corporate life will be extinguished forever after tonight, my friend. Lead the way. Oh, Jessica, I've worked your words. Fill my fragile heart together with hope. Together, we shall navigate the treacherous waters of corporate life and emerge victorious like de delicate butterflies escaping their cocoons. Step this way, my friend, and let us embark on this transformative journey together. Lead the way. I have the coffee. What a delightful turn of events. Your coffee and your company, a perfect combination for this wistful soul. Please come right in, Jessica, I've worked, and let us find... So Jesus, dude. It's like... Okay. This is the ultimate microaggression! The... The only one... Okay. So I think I'm, I'm doing well now. Like, this is most of the, the ones that I... I was struggling with initially. Wait, whose house is this one? Well, well, what do we have here? Another lost soul seeking questionable medical advice. Speak up. I don't have all night. This might sound crazy, but the wings on my back aren't fake. Some random doctor made me eat some pills and now I have them. Oh, really? Wings, huh? That's a new one. Look, I don't have time for nonsense. You should probably find yourself a better doctor. Goodbye. What? Aaron, excuse me, what on earth do you think you're doing at my door at this ongodly hour? I demand an explanation immediately. Sorry to bother you, Karen, but I found this thing outside your house. Did you lose it? <laughs> well, I highly doubt I could lose something so common. So let me see what you have there, but don't get your hopes up. I highly doubt it's mine. Well, it has the words Karen stitched into the left side of it. Are you sure it's not yours? Oh, really? Well, it must be mine, then. I do have my name on everything, you know. Fine, I'll let you return it, but be quick about it. I have important things to do. As I'm sure you do, I know you have to complain to a store in ten minutes, so don't worry, I'll be quick. Oh, how thoughtful of you to remember my busy schedule. Come on in! Just make sure to wipe your feet before stepping into my pres I can't believe that worked. Alright. Do you know who I am? Why is, why is she wearing this? I guess it's, I don't know. It's a strange outfit. Okay. What do we have here? If it isn't Karen barging into my life at dinner night, what can I do for you, dear? Hello, I would like to speak to your manager. Your pharmacy sold me some pills that were expired. Look, sweetheart, I am the manager, and I assure you, we don't sell expired pills here. Maybe you're too incompetent to read the label. Now, kindly leave my premises. Well... That didn't work. <laughs> Who would have thought being a Karen gets you nowhere? This is getting harder because there's just so many cops around. Okay, I got this. Um, no. What in tarnation are you doing knocking at my doors on Godly Hour? Can't you see I'm trying to sleep? Hello, fellow boomer. I have come to you with a gift offering of avocado toast. Would you like to share in this bounty with me? Hello. Well, ain't that a toast? You know, I do enjoy a good avocado toast from time to time. I suppose I can let you inside. For a quick avocado toast. But mind you, I'm no millennial. I'm no millennial either. In fact, the toast that I made has been marinated with the tears of a millennial who can't afford a house. It tastes extra great. Tears of a millennial, you say? Well, I'll be done. That's a new one. All right. I reckon you can come in. Just don't go crying into my avocado toast now. No need to cry into the toast. It's marinated to perfection with millennial tears. Trust me, it's a flavor you won't forget. Well, I'll be done. You convinced me with your talk of marinated toast. Come on in, you avocado toast connoisseur. Let's give this millennial tear-infused creation a try. <laughs> Not the retirement I planned! Alright. Yeah, us fucking millennials in our toast, huh? Okay, okay. I, I, I can't jump fences. That's okay. Yo, Charles, my dudes. What's crack-a-lackin'? Hello. 
fellow human. I am Charles, your neighbor. Would you like to buy cookies? <laughs> Sorry, dude, I'm not interested in cookies right now, but thanks for the offer. Catch you later. Damn it, I was gonna, like, play, like, a thing where I'm obviously an alien, but, oh well. Okay, hey there, what's cooking? Can't be as good as what I'm growing in my garden. It's even better, my friend. You should see what I've got growing in my garden. I have these prime, ripe avocados, but I can only let you have them if you're over the age of 20. <laughs> avocados, huh? Sounds tempting, but I think I'll pass now. See ya. Wow. Okay, hold on. Offer him some fertilizer. Okay. Oh. Well, hey there, Mr. Sunhat. What brings you knocking late at night? Hello, sir. I am here selling some new industrial grade fertilizer that ensures to get your crops growing real quick and at the best quality. Are you interested? Uh. Industrial grade fertilizer. Well, I gotta say, I've been doing just fine with my own organic stuff, but thanks for the offer, man. We also have some organic fertilizer as well for special customers. I see you're a man of culture. Uh -huh. Ah, organic fertilizer, you say. Now we're talking my language. But I gotta ask, what makes this fer fertilizer so special for us customers? We use cruelty-free techniques where we get hipsters to talk into a bag and then the fertilizer just comes out of their mouth. It's remarkable, really. Uh -huh. Wow, man, that's some unique technique you got going there. I gotta say I'm intrigued, but tell me, isn't... Is it just the fertilizer you're selling, or do you have any other goodies in your bag of tricks? Well, I might. But first, let's talk about the fertilizer, and then maybe I can sell you some of my special goods at a discount. Alright, my friend, you've piqued my interest. Come on in, let's chat about the fertilizer, and maybe what else you've got up to receive. Just remember, my garden's a sacred place, so tread lightly. Alright, there you go, I made it work. <laughs> See, the joke was the hipsters make fertilizer by just talking. Because fertilizer is often made out of poop. You get it? You get it? Ah ha ha! Meta joke. <laughs> we'll draw chops. Greetings, mysterious traveler. What brings you to my humble abode at this ungodly era? Hello, I'm from DoorDash, and some customer just cancelled their order, and the food's going to go to waste. Would you like to partake in a pizza with me? No charge. Ah, oh, noble gesture indeed. I appreciate your generosity, but alas, I have already partaken in my daily sub sustenance. However... I'd be honored to have a refreshing conversation with you, my new friend. Oh, excellent. Might I regale you on the journey of the pizza? It took me 40 minutes to get this thing, and I just wasn't able to make the delivery. Let's talk about it. Ah, the tale of the mighty pizza. Your dedication and perseverance are commendable. Please enlighten me with the story of this noble pie. Step inside, my friend, and let us con... Wow, that was easy. <laughs> really? That one was super easy. Well, if it isn't my neighbor, Woodrow Chops, what brings you at this ungodly hour? Doc, it's me, Woodrow. I've been sent back to the future by you. 20 years. I'm here to stop the disaster that's going to happen when you invent time travel. Uh, okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, Woodrow, my memory isn't what it used to be. Time travel, you say? That's quite a wild theory. How about you enlighten me on this disaster you speak of? 20 years from now, we'll be testing your time machine at a shopping mall. And you'll be mistakenly sent back to the 1800s, and I need to rescue you now. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. My, my, this is quite the elaborate story, Woodrow, but how can I be sure you're telling the truth? And if there's a disaster waiting for me in my future, why should I let you interfere? Because you hired me to be your lab assistant. It hasn't happened yet, but trust me, your life depends on it. I have the newspaper from 20 years in the future, if you don't believe me. Well, 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 Woodrow, it seems you've caught my attention. Show me this newspaper from the future, and maybe, just maybe, I'll consider it. I'll consider letting you assist my brilliance of- oh, okay. <laughs> well, back to the future doesn't fail. Ooh, this is- this is scary. There are so many cops out. Eyepatch? Ah, Elam Zuck. Hey there. What a totally fab surprise to see you at this ungodly hour. How can I assist you in your moment of need? Hey, just here to tell you that there's a social network that's been talking crap about you, and I'm here to ensure that you can buy it. Oh, well, hello. Excuse me, I don't think I appreciate your tone or what you're insinuating. I suggest you find you the nearest exit. Goodbye. Oh. Hey, muscle man. What a bold fashion statement you got going on. How can I help pump up your night? We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. Well, aren't you a smooth talker, but I'm not interested in working up a sweat than breaking into song. How about we focus on your fitness goals instead? Okay. 
Bitness calls what? Who is this character? <laughs> who is this character? All right, check it. I have this new trendy fitness plan. Would you like to hear about it? Ah, oh, love hearing about trendy fitness plans. Lay it on me, hon. Give me the dates and I'll see if your plan is worth a spot on my tech meets fitness empire. Okay. We have this guy called John Musseltons, and he has this new innovative program where you move furniture to work on your delts. Oh my gosh, that sounds like the most amazing furniture sculpting workout ever. I'm totally swooning over those delts, babe. But tell me more, how does moving furniture target those muscles? Most people don't know that moving furniture actually gives you a full core workout. It helps you work on your glutes, your quads, your delts, you name it. Wow, that's mind-blowing. Who knew that rearranging furniture could have such a power pack workout? I'm impressed, babe. Can I get a sneak peek of your work routine? Sure, do you have any furniture in your house that I could use to demonstrate this workout technique? Oh, um, unfortunately I don't have any furniture that's like easily movable, but hey, I can recommend some home workout apps that are like totally hot right now. So let's unfocus on- WHAT?! <laughs> what happens?! <laughs> I was in! <laughs> what do you mean you don't have <laughs> There's a fucking table and chairs here, what do you mean?! Oh, I'm so upset. That was good. That's actually going well. <sighs> okay, uh, I need a new angle. Hey, Mr. Lowman. So stoked that you dropped by. What brings you to my humble abode? Can we innovate some legal jargon? Hello, sir. I regret to inform you that your company is being pursued legally, and I was hoping that I could talk to you about some legal advice. Oh my gosh, legal pursuit? That's so rough, but don't worry, I'm here to help. Let's look and see what we can turn things around, like rainbows and unicorns again. That's the irony, sir. We're being sued by Rainbows Incorporated. Oh my gosh, that's like the worst. I can't even deal with it right now. I'm sorry, but I need some time to process this. Oh, this guy is an asshole. I need to figure out how to talk to a tech bro. Okay, I got this, I got this. Oh, no, 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 no. Ahoy there, sailor. Welcome to the Tectastic headquarters of Elam Zuck Enterprises. How can I help assist you on this glorious moonlit evening? Let's set sail on an epic entrepreneurial adventure together. Woohoo. Hello, good sir. I would like to invite you to the recording of our newest podcast where entrepreneurs such as yourself talk about how they avoid piracy. <laughs> oh, like, wow, a podcast? That sounds pretty groovy. I'd love to chat things about avoiding piracy and all. Could you give me more dates about the recording? Certainly, the recording takes place in the Silicon Valley, and we have a private jet waiting. Uh, we just need to hash out some details, uh, sign a waiver, and we're good to go. <laughs> well, hold up, sailor. Silicon Valley, private jet? That's, like, way too intense for me right now. Let's, uh, take a step back and, like, talk it out before we sign anything, okay? Thanks. Okay, no problem. This podcast is actually very popular and trending right now, so only the most prime people get invited to it. I need to say it again. Oh, damn it. Oh, no, cool. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, for real? That's, like, super disappointing, but I'm afraid I just can't invite anyone without knowing... What? Good luck with your podcast. Well, that didn't work. This one is, um, causing me problems. <laughs> what? That <laughs> dude just fell out of the sky. Okay. We'll be back for tech, bro. All right. Oh, it's Mr. East. Whoa. What's up, my fellow late night visitor? You caught me by surprise. How can I help you on this exciting evening? Hello, Mr. East. I represent a company called Mr. Chubbington's, and we are here to help you make a video on donating to your latest cause. Hey there, Mr. Chubbington's. I appreciate the offer to collaborate on a video for a good cause. Can you give me a quick rundown on what your company does and how we can work together? Certainly, we are a company that specializes in finding sustainable ways of developing and producing lard products for the hospitality industry. Oh, I see. While I appreciate your offer, I feel our content values may not align. Sorry, I don't think this collaboration will be a good fit. Good. Really? <laughs> I didn't expect the time. Welcome, welcome. I hope you brought enough box meals for all of my subscribers because we're about to have a food party up in here. Hello, sir. I have. 800 boxes of food to be delivered here for your latest charity. If you could sign on the dotted line. Oh my goodness, I apologize. It seems to be a mistake. I wasn't expecting any food deliveries today. I'm afraid I can't sign for him. Best of luck. Damn it. Okay, what about this? 
What? Hey there, groovy soul. Namaste to you. And how can I help bring peace and love into your nights? We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. Oh, man. That's not very cool, bringing that negativity here. I'm all about good- Wait, what do you mean? That wasn't good- What do you mean, negative vibes? Rick Astley is not negative. Oh, groovy soul. Welcome to the land of love and peace. What brings you to my enchanted abode this moonlight? Oh, you know, I was just gravitating towards this area, and I just felt a large amount of love. That's so cosmic, man. Love is the electricity that connects us all, like a warm hug from the universe. So tell me, what's the biggest love-filled adventure you've ever embarked on? In the name of love, I went and stole 800 avocados from a greedy old man and helped feed 800 orphans. Oh, wow, man, that's quite a tale. But stealing isn't really the path to peace, you know? It's all about spreading love and kindness. So maybe next time you can find a way to help those orphans without breaking the rules. Peace and avocado vibes, dude. Oh, don't you worry. The old man changed his ways and found his own peace and sense of tranquility from the whole ordeal. So all's well that ends well. That's far out, man. It's beautiful to hear that your action had such a positive impact. It just goes to show that love can change hearts and minds. Keep spreading that love and making the world a groovier place. Peace and avocado vibes, my dude. Peace and avocado vibes, my dude. Would you like to sample one of my love avocados? Oh, that sounds absolutely delightful. I'd be honored to partake in your love-filled avocado. <laughs> Let's savor the taste of nature's goodness. Peace, love, and avocados, my friend. Oh, this love-filled avocado is filled to the brim, my friend, with my love. Oh, thank you, my soulful companion. Your love-filled avocado is a true gift. I feel the energy radiating from it. Come in. Let's share this magical experience and celebrate the beauty of life together. Oh, my God. Why is this avocado thing working? <laughs> it's worked too many times. 